Hi, Kelly. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, and oracle card advisor. How are you today? So, I don't think I need to explain much to you. I think you've uh, been around enough to, to know how this works. And we're going to talk to your dad today. And let's see what he's up to. <laughs> he's sitting in a set of drums. And even if he didn't play the drums, that doesn't matter. He's um, he's really beating on, but he keeps hitting the cymbal, smashing the cymbal. He's smashing the cymbal over and over as as he's using the other drumstick. Let's see where he's going with this. Okay, this is going to be a sign for you. This is a new one on me, so I'm not sure how this is going to work, but you know, I'm sure you know what a cymbal sounds like. So even though he's smashing it, the sound more than likely won't be that loud, because now he's showing me just barely tapping it, tapping it with a drumstick. So, eh, YouTube it or something. Recog get that sound where you can recognize it because you're going to hear that all over the place. I don't know why he's picking drums. Did he play drums? I get a feeling he didn't. Um, but this is what he's using and I ask them, I always ask them, use something different besides the coins, the feathers, the butterflies, blah blah blah. So this little tapping of the drumstick on the cymbal, that, that little noise you're going to hear in the car, Walmart, outside, in your house, in your head. You may not hear it with this ear, you may hear it with this ear. Believe me, there's an ear up there. And uh, when you hear that, say, I know that you did, thank you. Bring me more. And you will also see drum sets, probably specifically symbols. Uh, Facebook, movies, magazines, billboards, wherever same thing it'll be a sign so that this is a sign that you can hear and see everywhere so he's he's making a big bold uh, sign for, that you can't miss he thinks it's funny he has an elderly lady behind him she's her hair is, her hair's white. I'm not going to guess her age, but she's elderly. She's very well dressed. She's very prim and proper. Her, there's not a wrinkle on her clothes. Her hair is done perfect. And she just, she just gives off the air of wealth. Um... She has a grandmother feeling to her, so even if you don't have a blood grandmother that that sounds like. And she's shown me first name begins with an E. I suck at names. Don't forget I suck at names. So take that with a grain of salt. So even if you don't have a blood or your dad didn't have a blood grandmother that had the air of wealth about her, you can, your next door neighbor can feel like your grandmother more than your grandmother lives across the country. So it's a grandmother type figure that was close to him. So I don't think it's your grandmother. It could be, which would, that would make it his mother. It doesn't feel that way. Anyway, for some reason, they're showing that they're together. There's a very young boy running up dark hair, six-ish age, um, he's dressed fairly nice too, he's running up to get in the picture with him, um, so if this boy is not related to you, it's somebody very close to you or somebody close to your family. 
or close to somebody your dad knew. I, he's not given, I'm not getting the relationship with this child, with you guys. I mean, sometimes, usually I do, but not for sure. But they want somebody to know that this child is there with them and he's okay and he's bright, he's happy, he's healthy. Supposedly he was sick before he passed. That's the feeling I'm getting anyway. I'm seeing the letter C is sh C. <laughs> Good. I need newer new teeth. I'm seeing the letter C associated with this child. But take that with a grain of salt. They still keep spitting names out at me, even though we don't seem to get them all correct. <laughs> so, let's see. It's like they're having a big party together, the three of them. He's mentioning Guns N' Roses, the band. He's puffing his chest out. And he's talking about how proud of you he is. And he goes, I did that. I made that. Look at her now. She is definitely something to be proud of. Couldn't ask for a better child. Kind of wondered for a while. <laughs> But she turned out great. All right, he's showing me a skateboard. He's actually on the skateboard. I don't know if you've been on a skateboard recently, or I don't know if you have kids. I don't. I don't stalk anybody's Facebook. It just messes up my mind. Or, you know, one of your kids or so something about somebody around you being on a skateboard. But he's riding it right now. <laughs> he's going to fall off. <laughs> but it's not going to hurt him. He's... Okay, he's... I heard the word career, your career. He said it's going to go like this at least once. You know, you got to show me better. Okay, he's showing it going up over a hill and down and up over a hill and down and then up. So there's going to be a couple of a couple of bumps in the road and your career does not have to be a nine to five get a paper paycheck at the end of the week job. It can be being a housewife or volunteering somewhere or anything like that. He says you're really an awesome cook. And he shows himself going in your kitchen. It's like he sticks his fingers in the food and he tastes it. Like, like straight out of the skillet. He sticks his fingers in there, nibbles on it. Okay, so this, yeah, I don't know how, oh, this is different. Um, it's possibly something that he used to do, but he's also showing as he picks it up out of there, he accidentally, some drops or drips. I mean, we make messes on the stove all the time. I don't know how you're going to differentiate other than 
maybe it's not there and while it's cooking you walk away and you come back and there's some slopped on the stove that you know that you didn't do before you left the room that's that's different um, He was referencing my me having trouble with my computer. Are you having trouble with a computer or phone right now? I think he's trying to get a little bit of validation in here first before he says too much more. A sister, hang on, I'm, I'm not feeling this real strong yet. Let's see where we're going with this. Uh, her, you. I feel like this. I feel like this female is older than you. Somebody's still here. Sister type feeling. You made me feel like, like it was your sister, but he's showing her older. <clears throat> and then I kind of felt like it was his sister. So I honestly don't know where we're going with that. I won't try to cram it and make it fit somewhere. He's acknowledging this female. He visits this female. He checks in on her. And that's that's all he's saying about her. At least right now. He's uh got the hood up on a car. Are you having car trouble right now? If you're not, check under the hood and check your fluids. Because he's got the hood up on a car. And I believe it's yours. Okay, I'm, I'm hearing the name Harriet. Don't forget a stinkit name, so it's a female with an H, H-A name, so stretch that outside the box if you have to, if it's not a Harriet, but that's not associated with anybody so far that I've mentioned. This is somebody else. He's acknowledging that person. He said no, it was not painful when he left. He thought you needed to know that. It just, you might have thought it was. He says, but it, it really wasn't. It just looked that way. He's actually, he's got a putter and he's playing golf. I don't get the impression that he's a golfer. Somebody recently, cl really close to you are, you, are you playing golf? I don't know where we're going with this. But he's got a putter. Even if it was putt-putt golf or kitty golf in the yard with a plastic, one of them plastic golf clubs like you can buy for five bucks. It doesn't have to be on a 18-hole golf course. Talking about a farm. Somebody had a farm. Somebody while he was growing up, while he was here, had a farm that he loved to go to. He felt comfy there. 
he enjoyed the space, the freedom, the not being crowded. He's talking about his chums, his chums that are still here. And I heard Joe and I heard Charlie. There we go again. <laughs> Quit throwing names out at me. <laughs> it's at least a male with a J or a JL name or, or and, there's two of them, and a male with a CCH sounding name that uh, he wants to say, hey, sup. He has a can of beer and it's cheap beer. It's, I want to say like Natty Light or something like that. <laughs> he said there's nothing wrong with cheap beer. Beer is beer. Me personally? <laughs> he wants to play beer pong. He's showing the table set up. So if you guys played that recently or the next time you play it, I've never personally played. I don't know why. I like beer. <laughs> um, he will be there. He will be. He's like, yeah, I like this. He said he's, he's happy that you accepted him as your dad even though he wasn't all prim and proper, even though he was laid back, even though there were words that came out of his mouth that maybe shouldn't have. He says you have a lot of that in you too. <laughs> he says, but you loved him the way he was. And he still is. He says, catch me if you can. Catch me if you can. Did he used to run from you when you were little and say, catch me if you can? Or, or you just did that to somebody recently? And a lot of times they throw things out there and it's not for me to know. It's none of my business. So they just, they just put out enough that you know what they're talking about and that's all that matters because it's it's not for me. I'm just passing it along. He's talking about the higher hierarchy. Hierarchy. Is that how you say that word? Um that you're moving up the ladder. So several of your family older than you have have left or leaving or no sorry I'm not saying anybody's leaving don't don't take that the wrong way that, that maybe they don't even have to leave for you to be more in charge or or be the boss. That's not the word I want to say. Um, God, I can't think of what word I need to say. Because people don't have to physically be gone for you to be up there more in charge. And that's a feeling he's given me like you're more higher up in charge. He says, so, so be ready. And don't be afraid to be in charge. Because you'll be good at it. And don't take no for an answer. He's talking... He I feel like he's talking about something coming up. So don't freak out. I'm not saying anybody's leaving us. 
That's, that's not it at all. He says it'll be your turn to step up. Uh, so hopefully you know what that means. And all will be good in the world. <laughs> that's what he said. He says you're beautiful. And, and again, he's going back to, I made something that beautiful. He's so proud of you. say anything. What are you pointing at? He's pointing at, he's, I've got stuff over here. It's all cards though. What are you pointing at? Alright, I'm going to pause this. He wants me to pull a card, so I'm not going to waste your time shuffling. Let me pause this. Alright, they asked me to do this one. and well, I'm going to make them quick so I don't take up your whole time. But he asked me two different ones he pointed at. Two different piles, decks. Um, this is my rude cards. It says, you do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. And surrender denial. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. So, accept the people around you and situations the way they are, but you do you. You do you. I don't think this card's so much about the back of it where you stop trying to change people. It's more about you do you. That's, that's the biggest thing. So, think. He's tried to kind of say that in different ways during the reading. He's, okay. I can't see them yet. You have to get them closer. There's a, there's a female that's going to enter your life and he, sh they're showing her as she's coming down a sidewalk or a path or something, coming towards you, getting closer to you, and she's older than you. Ah, oh, crap, I don't know how old you are. I probably shouldn't say it that way, but I feel like she's older than you. Um, she's going to be, she's going to be like, I don't know if I want to say soul connection, She, she may not be there for the rest of your life, but this is this is going to be a connection. You're going to feel it. You're, you'll know when you meet this woman. She's going to be good for you. She's going to calm you. She's going to teach you things and help guide you. But it's, there's going to be there's going to be that connection, and you'll just know it. You'll know it. Um, sometimes I can walk in a room and co complete total stranger. One time I was in a restaurant. I go, oh. Oh my god, I know him from somewhere. Like not not like oh they look familiar type of thing, but from your soul, from your gut, you go, I went, I know him and probably from a past life, which I do believe in. And uh so I just knew it and the feeling was so strong and he actually turned around two or three times like but the way he looked I thought, I think he knows it too. Never spoke to him, never saw him again. He was good looking. <laughs> Couldn't take my eyes off of him because I felt you feel it that strong. So, I asked when this woman was going to enter, and I saw two. I don't know if that means two weeks, two months, two years. But she's going to be very good for your 
future path. And he wants you to know that. And she's very, her hair is really nice and uh, she's not, she's not uppity. She's not, she's not sloppy. She's, she's middle class, you know. But she feels so peaceful and loving. So she will be awesome for you. And he's not saying in what aspect of your life, more like a friend, more like a more like a mentor. She's going to be like a mentor to you. Mentor. Your dad wants you to find that feeling that I'm feeling from her. He wants you to find that. He wants you to go outside. He says, and just be a veggie. Just veg out. But sometimes you're just going to let shit go. Find your happy spot, he says. He says, I had my happy spot with my buddies. Maybe a little too much too often. <laughs> he seemed like a fun guy. Happy go lucky. He's showing me a cat, a cat that he has with him. So somebody that's lost their cat, he has that cat with him. And he's not really even showing me enough of the cat except for the tail up against him to even tell what color it is. So I, he's not helping me on that. So it'd be somebody who recently lost a cat not just a barn cat, somebody that really had a cat that they loved. Or he wouldn't think it was important enough to say that he has his cat with him, but he's still not showing me the cat. But he said he's, there's also one here that sees him. So if you have a cat or one of your relatives has a cat that like stares at the wall and looks like it's watching a fly on the wall. You know, it goes like this and there's nothing there because he's going like this. He's playing with the cat. The cat sees him. Animals and small children see them all the time. So if you have the cat, watch the cat. He says it used to bristle up when he first came because he, the cat, the cat got scared because who the hell are you? <laughs> kind of like cat go, I don't know you. You scare me. But now the cat doesn't care. But the cat still follows him around with his eyes as he messes with it. Okay, showing a birthday cake. Somebody's got a birthday coming really, really soon. And he's going to be there. Watch the candles on the cake. Something, at least with one of the candles, like like the flame's going to waver or go sideways or do something weird that the other ones aren't. Or it'll look like somebody's trying to blow on it when nobody's blowing on it or there's no breeze. He says he's going to leave you with the love. that he's always popping into your house. He hears you. He sees you. He's proud of you. And there's gonna be a wooden chair. Wooden chair, kind of like this kind of chair. That you're going to hear the sound of it scraping across the floor like somebody's dragging it, but it probably won't move. It'll probably just be the sound. And that's going to be another way that he's going to 
let you know that he's there. And he probably won't use it real often, that one, but when he really wants to get your attention, he's going to use that. Okay, he said, he said again, he's leading with love. And he's, he reaches out and he grabs the love that you send him. He, he reaches out and grabs it when it comes his way. And that's just kind of, I don't think it actually works that way, but that's just him telling you that he get that he, the love that you send him, he gets it. He does get it. He, and he holds on to it. He says, see you later. Catch you on the flip-flop, the bye and bye. Just know that I'm always checking on you and making sure things are okay. And with that, he's leaving. So, know that he's always around and watch for those signs. Acknowledge them. Let him know that you know that those are signs from him. And you'll get lots more. That'd be awesome. Spe especially pay attention to the little things that repeat over and over and over and over. That's a sign that they're trying to send you. That once you acknowledge it, then they go, ah, she got it. Anyway, see you later. Thank you for trusting me with your loved one. I hope this thing isn't scratchy, but the way my computer's been acting the last two days, it might be. Um, uh, because I take it back to the doctor. Crazy. I don't know how I'm supposed to do my work, but I do know that they're pushing me out of doing so many of these and getting out in the real world. And uh, actually, I hear him saying, you're supposed to be on stage, Rhonda. So I don't know where I'm going after this, but I love each and every one of you and each and every one of them for helping me along the way. And thank you for allowing me to, uh, for trusting me with your loved one. See you later. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, and oracle card advisor. See you later.